Alright, here's a quick synopsis of my free brake job. At least I hope it'll be free. Because last time I paid for a lifetime uh, warranty disc. And uh, it's been three and a half years and it's time to replace them. So if everything goes right, it'll be free this time. Make sure you block your wheels. Make sure you have jack stands under your car. That's the preliminaries. Idiot alert, idiot alert. Um, don't be stupid like me and jack it up before you loosen your lug nuts. I'm just doing this just to show you that you can take them loose if you're lucky and they ain't that tight you can go ahead and take your wheels off it's better to loosen your lug nuts a little bit before you uh, jack up your car but just in case you don't you can try to pop it loose I successfully did it on the other side so I thought I might try that so you can see Okay, so you put the dung on there, you start it this way, and then you jerk it forward. That's one, two, use all this at your own risk. I won't be responsible for anything that happens to your car. If you look right here, I'm feeling these, I don't have any pedal flutter. Uh, the only thing is my brakes are just worn. It's been uh, three and a half years since I changed them. So if you got grooves and pits in here where you can't easily do that, you're gonna have to buy new rotors. It's really smooth, no ridges. Again, this, these, uh, if you got pits in here or grooves and if your pedal's shaking real bad when you slow down, if you got a lot of shimmy when you, when you brake, then you might need to replace the rotors. My pedal doesn't pulsate and uh, this is just normal brake wear. Still got quite a bit of pad looks like and they might not replace it okay now first thing you want to do is compress it going out you can use a c-clamp and do it but i don't have one so you can stick a screwdriver in here and kind of pry it you want to get it all the way open you don't want to press too hard because then your brake pads might not, you might scratch your, scratch your deal. So I'm going to hold it a little bit, make sure it's compressed, and then we should be okay. Size 14. So we'll take them loose. Can you see that? Size 14 wrench. Calipers on just come right off and you want to hold it real easy not break it and loop it around here on the other side See right there just kind of let it hold right there Okay. Now there's the pads Okay, should be able to just pull them out it's One it's almost down down to the wear almost so there we go that's that side says a little bit but hopefully they'll trade them in now let's go to the other side Okay, that's it. I'm going to go to the store and see if they'll uh, replace them. I guess I'm going to change this to almost free because uh, I went down there and they had the brake pads. But I had to uh, buy some anti-squeal compound. So my total is uh, $6.16 with tax. It's $5.69 for anti-squeeze. Brand new. They're a little bit thicker, see? 
You want to know what kind of fits on a Vibe or a Metrix uh, 03 to uh, 08? Is a SC923. Only going to show you one side because it's the same for both of them. So, see if you can see the the pads are the same on both of them. So, one goes in and one goes outer. And uh, here's the disc stuff that I had to buy for $5.99. Depending on whether you're going on the inner or outer, you'll put this stuff on them differently. You have the round pad here in the center. So I'm just going to kind of put it around the outside of here so that the caliper piston will, will hit it. Then you kind of get in the way and you put the bottom in. Find the right channel. almost snap in place and then they're held by the little metal tabs that are in there. See there. So now this you can see the channels in here a little bit easier kind of slide them in and get them in the tab and then they just kind of push right in. So there you go. Hopefully now that, since I uh, used a screwdriver to compress this thing all the way, hopefully now I'll be able to get the pads on there without having to adjust it anymore. So let's see. Perfect. Okay, we'll put the 14 millimeter screws back in. So again, if you were having brake trouble, this isn't going to fix your problem. Uh, mine was just time to change them. The brakes are working fine. So uh, don't try this unless everything's fine and you just need to replace your, your pads. Because that's all, that's all I did. Don't tighten these bolts too tight. But get them snug enough so they won't come loose. And there you go. We're done. So... Thanks for watching YouTube. Make sure before you drive the car that you pump the brake a little bit to close your cylinders on each side. Uh, otherwise, when you start backing up, you won't have any brakes. So, All right, I'm gonna go test it. I have pumped the brakes up. You need to make sure you check your car brakes uh, after you change your uh, brake pads and make sure they work. So uh, this is gonna be my test to make sure they work backing and going forward. Make sure you check your brakes after you do this. That's the most important step of this whole job, is to make sure that your brakes work after you're done. So anyway, appreciate y'all watching YouTube. We'll catch you later. Bye.